more than 639,000 Americans have died from COVID-19 while over 4.5 million people have died from the disease worldwide, according to real-time data compiled by the Center for Systems Science and Engineering at Johns Hopkins University. Just 61.3% of Americans ages 12 and up are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. KISS co-lead singer Gene Simmons tested positive for COVID-19, the band shared on its Twitter page Tuesday evening. In a statement, the band said the 72-year-old was experiencing mild symptoms. Gene Simmons makes his way onto the field to sing the national anthem before the game between the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Dodgers at Dodger Stadium, May 7, 2019. In Los Angeles his diagnosis comes less than a week after co-lead singer Paul Stanley, 69, tested positive for COVID-19 as well. In a statement released on August 26, the band said that, everyone on the entire tour, both band and crew, are fully vaccinated. KISS has postponed four of its end-of-the-road tour shows from September 1st to September 5th. The band and crew will remain at home and isolate for the next 10 days, the band said in a statement. Two officials working on COVID-19 vaccine review to leave FDA. Peter Marks, the director of the Food and Drug Administration's Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research, CBER, announced the upcoming departure of two top vaccine regulators to his staff in an internal memo, which was obtained by ABC News. Dr. Marion Gruber, director of the FDA's Office of Vaccines Research and Review, OVRR, and her deputy, Dr. Phil Cross, are set to leave the agency in October and November respectively, according to the memo. Cross, who has been with the agency for over a decade, and Gruber, who has been with the FDA for over 30 years, were instrumental in the review and authorization of the three COVID-19 vaccines, the memo said. The memo said that Gruber will be retiring and gave no other details about Cross's departure. When reached for comment about their departure, an FDA spokesperson told ABC News the agency is confident in the expertise and ability of our staff to continue our critical public health work, including evaluating COVID-19 vaccines. Their departures come at a critical time for the vaccine review team. After facing pressure to move as fast as possible to get vaccines full licensure done, the agency is now weighing booster shots for a wider pool of Americans. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe. All Media New York.